Hey guys, welcome back to math class. Today we're going to look at finding slope and the y-intercept using a table. But before we can get into that, we have to talk about what is slope and what is the y-intercept. So slope is the measure of like the steepness of a line. So if something is really steep or kind of steep, not very steep or flat, that's what slope is. It's the measurement of that angle. Now the y-intercept is very self-explanatory. The y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. Where the line crosses the y-axis. Another thing you can say is when x is 0, when x equals 0, the y is the y-intercept. And we'll look at what that means in the table. All right, so this whole unit that we're moving into, we're going to be looking at straight lines that don't necessarily cross at zero, zero. So if I looked at a table, x is always on top on a table, y is always on bottom in a table. And let's say I've got zero, Five, I'm not going to change things up. Two, 11, four, 17, six, 23, eight, 29. It would go on and on and on. We don't need on and on and on and on. So to find slope, let's start with that. To find the steepness of this line, First, I'm going to start by picking two pairs. You can pick any two pairs you want. So step one, this is going to be for slope. Step one, we're going to pick two pairs, any two pairs. Pick any two pairs of XYs. So you have XYs. I'm going to pick, I'm going to use what we used last year. They picked 211 and 623, All right, that's step one, pick two pairs. Step two is to do x minus x. And we need to pick a pattern and keep a pattern. Usually we're gonna do six minus two. So, and I'm gonna say, how much is x changing? How much does x change? So six minus two is how much? Four. So six minus two equals four. So I'm going from six minus four to two. Oh look, minus four, that's a coincidence. All right, so this is my x change is four. Now I have to look at my y's and I'm gonna do the same thing. How much does y change? How much does y change? So 23 to 11, if I do 23 minus 11, that equals 12. So this is my y change, y change. You're basically done finding the slope. So slope is kind of just subtracting mostly. Next step, step four. That was the hard part. Step four. 
we are going to put the Y change over the X change. Put Y change over the X change. So what was the Y change? It was 12. What was the X change? Four. Now I can simplify. 12 over 4. So, when it comes to slope, slope likes to be a fraction. It works better when you get to the graphing part, you'll understand why. Slope likes to be a fraction, unless it's a whole number. What's 12 divided by 4? This is 3. So my slope is 3. Alright, we are done with slope. Next. I need to look at the y-intercept. How do we find y-intercept? y-intercept. Oh, we can't see that. Let me zoom out for this. The y-intercept, remember up here when we said it's when x is 0? Do you see in the table where x is 0? Yep, x is 0 right here. So the cool thing about y-intercept, if x is 0, this is the y-intercept. So step 1. Do you see x of 0? Yes. Then the y, the y-intercept is 5. So for this one, the y-intercept is 5. If you don't see x of 0, so yes, if it's no, you don't see x of 0, it doesn't have x of 0. So like if this was covered up, if we covered it up like that, could we, could we go backwards in the pattern and find x of 0? How much is x going up each time in the table? We're counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight. All right, what about y's? How much is the y going up each time? This is plus two, two, two. Y's are going up plus six. Plus six, plus six, plus six. So if I went backwards two, what's two minus two? It would be zero. What's 11 minus six? Five. So five plus six is 11. Zero plus two is two. So if I don't see x of zero, I can back up. We can continue the pattern to find x of zero. For the most part, the patterns are pretty obvious. Now, we're going to write an equation. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but at some point we're going to get to a part where we write an equation. And the equation is going to be y equals mx plus b, where m is slope, m is slope, and b is the y-intercept. And all you need to know right now is that your slope goes there and y-intercept goes there. So our equation for this would be y equals, how much was the slope? 3x plus, how much was the y-intercept? 5. So that is the equation that I would write for this table. Now, the equation works with the table. Every x that you put in 
and multiply, you should get y. So if I put 0 here, take 0 from the table, and put it here, what is 3 times 0? 0 plus 5 is 5. Up here, when x is 0, is y 5? Yeah, let's try another one. Uh, let's do 4 and 17. So 3 times 4, because that's my x right here, is 12 plus 5, because of 5. What's 12 plus 5? 17. Is when 4, when x is 4, is y 17? Yes. So this equation is working. It's how we get from x to y. It's two steps now, not just multiplying. All right. I think you're good. With your table, it can be negatives. So if when you do your subtracting, you get a negative, that's okay. Keep that negative. I think that's everything. Good luck. I'll see you guys next time.